Hello, my name is Jill Phillips, and I'm a co-owner of Squeals on Wheels, a traveling petting zoo and pony rides. My name is John Phillips. We have horses, miniature horses. We have miniature llamas and alpacas. Chickens, ducks. We have bearded dragons. Our website is www.squealsonwheels.us. Hey, the green iguana is the most common of all the iguana pets in the United States. Iguanas come from the rainforest area in Mexico, Central America, and the Caribbean islands. They can grow to be quite large, and you really have to realize this for an iguana. Iguanas can get over six feet tall and weigh over 11 pounds, and they do this quite quickly. They require a cage size that fits the iguana. When they're small, they're a couple inches long, you buy a small cage, and you think it's nice until it's about three months old and it gets bigger. You need to replace the cage, it's very expensive. You need a UVB light, you need a warming light, and you need different size cages. As part of living in the rainforest, they like to live near water. They swim very well, and if chased by a predator in the trees, they technically usually jump down from the tree into the water and swim away. One of the problems with iguanas that uh, most people don't know besides their growing size is that they do have razor sharp teeth and unless they're accustomed to humans from a young age, they tend to bite and the, their jaws are very strong and their razor sharp teeth can, can really injure you. Uh, iguanas, like uh, other lizards, use their tail for a defensive purpose in that they actually swing their tail, which is usually over half the length of their body, and uh, they use that as a weapon. Additionally, as a defensive characteristic, the iguana actually can drop off their tail. Their tail, like other lizards, have different sections that are, that are made as soft tissue sections where they can release their tail. If a predator chases chases an iguana, it will grab onto its tail, the tail will drop off and the iguana can, can go off and escape. This iguana actually had its tail dropped off as you can see, it's kind of a stub, but it will grow back. Iguana's tails do grow back and uh, they, they look a bit different after they grow back, but uh, it's a natural occurrence for the iguana in escaping a predator. 